Hey, what's up guys? Havoc here. So I'd really make a quick video showing the different 5 link variations on Crit Shockwave Totem. Because not everyone's going to have a 6 link and I could possibly help you guys decide on what your most optimal 5 link setup would be. Uh, I have obviously the maxed out gems since I played this build like for level 96. A 21 20 Shockwave Totem, 20 20 crit damage, 20 20 fast casting, conk effect, added fire. Free stay away, etc. Here on the character, pretty like some amazing one. Bought this for a couple of chaos. You know, I'm in MF gear. I'm not wearing Malagaros. Get more damage if I wear Malagaros. Um, wearing a Madrigan amulet could get more damage. Getting a crit multi amulet could get more damage. Wearing like the second wand, for example. And yeah, just in magic fun gear. Yeah, skill tree. Pretty much the exact same, the only difference is I dropped Charity of Flesh and picked up the Shadow Sword instead since, you know, I am in Softcore now after dying to Azuri. And but yeah, it's like still pretty tanky, so I have 3700 life, 1400 mana with the shield, pretty much 5k life because of Cloak of Defiance. So it's very strong in that aspect, still. Okay, let's get to it. So. Uh, start with crit damage. Crit damage. Five link setup is 22k DPS. It's uh, some power charges. Power charges, we have 29.3k DPS. One thing to note I'm just getting crit chance and a bit of spell damage, so 38.3 crit chance. Now plus 9 from Assassin's Mark, depending on the mob that I'm cursing on. So it's very easy, you just get one crit, you one shot the pack, bam. That's why you don't take out crit multi, but yeah, that was the DPS. Uh, I should also mention, you don't really need to keep power charges up. Uh, since you know, you have such high cast speed, and coupled with Assassin's Mark, pretty much like imitates your power charges. So. Uh, one crit is all it takes, as you can see when you put the crit multi gem in, which I would not recommend dropping. You have like 600 multi, maybe even 700 multi, you get an amulet and like another one with crit multi on it. So anyways, would not recommend dropping that, but those are the numbers. Uh, I got faster casting, I'm down to 3 casts per second. Um, I would not recommend dropping this, but I'll show you guys the numbers anyways. See, it's kind of slow without faster casting. If I don't kill this mob, then you can walk too close to those totems. Yeah, 32.3k. Might be a bit higher than the other ones, but it's gonna be a slower clear speed because it's very slow summoning. But then, really fast. Nice. You can get some real clear speed uh, with faster casting gem in. So again, don't recommend taking that out. Okay, so let's check out Conk Effect. What does Conk Effect do for us? It gives us a lot of damage. Because 69% more area damage, which is a multiplier. Um, but if we take it out, we do gain some AoE, which is really good. So At the end of the video, I will show the AoE differences between Conk, Priest AoE, and also with the Carcass Check. Anyways, no Conk Effect. 17.1k no charges, still pretty respectable damage, so pretty good. I would consider running this if I were to play this build again. And with charges, 24.3k. Yeah, very respectable, pretty good damage I'd say. And your AoE is going to be huge, as I'll show uh, later on in the video. Guess what, conk back in, take it out of fire. Got 22.3k. Uh, no charges. This is personally... I think I'd do either this setup or the setup I just mentioned beforehand without conk. Depending on how high my damage is. Let's get some power charges. And we have 31.6k built up. Pretty good. Some pretty good top ends there too. Lightning, cold, and physical damage. That's that. Then no increased AoE. They see the six link setup like this. 
does not change the tooltip at all, as you guys can see. Just AoE and actual clear speed. But 28.9k without charges. And 41k with charges. Yeah. Those are the DPS numbers for the different 5 links. It's, uh, it's hard to find out the AoE size now. So, Conk effect and increased AoE. This is both. I'll just take this out just to. Yeah, it's a 5 link, whatever. But you guys should be looking at the AoE sizes right now. It's a pretty good size, I'd say. Very respectable. Pretty good. Um, now let's show Conk effect increased AoE. Where the Kark. Uh, I showed the Karks at the end, actually. Let's take out Conk. Done too much dumb stuff. You can see, with, without Conk in, the AoE is very big. That's why I'd either consider this setup or dropping the added fire gem. It's actually a 4 link right now. Yeah, very big. Now let's put Conk back in. Well, let's just take increased AoE out. Show that 3 link. Again, AoE is like, okay, it's not like, not, not too bad. It's alright. But it's not the best. Now let's put Conk in. This is going to be very small. As you guys can see, <laughs> very small. But this is something I had to run for a long time because the Beyond mobs had a lot of HP. And you just had to get that damage up. I don't have added fire in right now. So. Missing a bit of depths. Um, yeah, I think that's all the variations for Cloak. Now let's put our carcass in. We're getting 20% AoE from Carcass, we're losing MOM. But this does allow us to run an extra aura. It's pretty nice. And Herald of Ash now for a little bit more dips, which is always good. Shock of Totem. Increased crit damage. Faster casting. Conk effect. And increased AoE. Uh, Tavern recolored my chest, but I'm simulating a 5 link anyways. So it's fine. We gained some life, we lost MOM, so if you actually use Carcass, you probably want to spec like a lot more life, maybe Silent Life Wheel, and Pretty Flesh. You know, drop some mana nodes, probably you'd have to drop some DPS, since you are getting DPS from Herald of Ash. Anyways. So, let's look at the AoE. It's uh, pretty good, this is Conk and Increased AoE. So it's very nice, very respectable. Pretty big. What are we gonna get from this box? Yeah, pretty good AV. A bunch of nothing! What a surprise. Anyways, let's take out Conk. Very big now. But a little overkill if you ask me. I would definitely take the defense of Cloak Defiance over this AoE. Especially now that you don't really need to have a super high tooltip because of no beyond mobs. But if you like this playstyle, whatever floats your boat, maybe you'll like this setup. Let's make a new Sarn. Now let's show the very last setup. Yeah, again. This is just increased AoE and a carcass check now. And let's take an increased AoE. Yeah, this is no conk, no increased AoE. This is how big it is. Not too bad. That could also be better. Okay, and then let's try the very last one. Conk effect, but no increased AoE. You know, it's not as bad as before, but it definitely could have been better. With the increased AoE gem. It's still pretty respectable, and if you needed the DPS, then Parks Jack might have been your way to go. Or like maybe double Divinarius, for example. AoE that way. But I personally prefer Casper in my ones. So, on that note, I hope. Uh, this video helped you guys decide in your 5 link setup and whether you want to use a Cloak of Defiance or a Carcass Jack in the upcoming league. 
if you're planning on playing this build. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed. And so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.